Hi, this tutorial series is going to be an upgrade or an update to my old Unreal Engine 4 C++ AI tutorial series because there is now Unreal Engine 5 and there are some differences so an update is necessary. I've got Unreal Engine 5 open here and you can see that the interface is different from version 4. You've got these categories on the left where you can select a sort of project types you want to do you want a game and i want a third person game i want it a c plus plus i've got to choose a location so i've got a folder and i'm going to call this cpp ai tutorial i think that needs to be a capital i so once the project has loaded this is what you get now i'm not going to do much to this except i'm going to get rid of these blue boxes so I just select them and press the delete key. I'm going to change this message to the name of the project. And could stick it on the back wall. Not too far, otherwise it disappears. It would be better to go to top view, wouldn't it? I will try and center it. Do a save all. So I want to switch off live coding and also automatically mm -hmm. compile new C++ classes. So in the it's edit editor preferences, I'm going to switch off live coding and under miscellaneous, we've got this hot reload automatically compile newly added C++ classes. I find that annoying because I might want to add a whole load of them, edit and then compile and the live coding it sometimes causes problems now let's close that i want to go to the project settings now what i want to do is to provide an action mapping so if i go to engine input and i'm going to create a new action mapping here at the moment we've just got this jump one and i'm going to call this exit game and i'm going to bind this to the gamepad left face button this one these face buttons are the ones that are in a sort of circle on the right of the gamepad as you can see in this diagram if we play this you can see that if you've got a gamepad it's very easy to do this sort of thing by mistake so the pitch needs limiting so let's go to the code editor now i'm using rider for this i'll set the zoom to 150 so you can see the code and everything so we want to write some code to implement the pitch limitation and the exit game and that's done on the character the player character and it's called cpp ai tutorial character.h so if i open the header first of all this protected keyword is redundant it's grayed out they've done it twice if you hover over it, it says access specified does not change accessibility level. So that's not needed. And the next thing they do is to duplicate this public section, which is a mess. So I'm going to move that. This is also in a private section. I'm going to move that as well. So we need a, a function that's going to close the game. So I'm going to implement this exit game and I'm going to create the definition. Let's do the code for this. So we just get the world, we get the first player controller and the con we execute a console command on that called quit. I might as well do it now and that's to bind that. So that's that done. Oh, I need a begin play and I don't think there is one. So I'm going to put a begin play in the public section. And I'm going to implement that.
Okay, so that just limits the pitch on the camera. So if we build this now, it should limit the camera pitch and allow us to exit by pressing that face button. So that succeeded back in Unreal. If I now play this, yes, I'm limited. And if I press the button, it exits. Now what we need is an NPC, an enemy. I'm going to move this character, this player. The player start position is well, more or less want to put the NPC. So I'm going to move that over here somewhere. So let's do a save all actually. So we need to create a C++ class, a character class, and create a blueprint from that. So in the C++ classes folder for the project, if I right click, I can create a new C++ class. And I want character, and I'm going to just call this NPC and create. I'm going to edit this. Again, I've got a duplicate public section. Let's change that. I haven't got to add any code at the moment to this. We'll do that later in subsequent videos, of course. Uh, I'm just going to do a build. Okay, now back in Unreal. Yes, I need a folder. So under content, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to put all or most of my AI related stuff in there. So I'm going to create a blueprint class from this. Um, here we are, create a blueprint class based on NPC. Needs to go there. And I'm going to call it actually BP underscore NPC. And we need to put it in the AI folder. This is it, it's empty. We've got no mesh or anything. This blue arrow is just the forward direction. And on the left, you've got the various components. So you've got this capsule component, and inside that is a mesh. And you can see we've got no skeletal mesh. There's various meshes you can have. I am going to choose SKM Manny Simple. Now this is a male mannequin. The player character is set to a female one called Quinn. Now this is obviously not positioned correctly. I go into sort of like the side view or something and I can just drag this down. Oh, got the feeling I need to switch this off so I'll get more accurate positioning. So I'll switch the snapping to the grid off so I can line up better with the bottom of this capsule. If I go to the top, now it needs to be rotated now. We're in Select and Translate Objects, which is the W key to rotate. We can just press the E key. I'm gonna rotate it like that. Actually, you can do it in this box over on the right. So, next thing is that we have no Anim Blueprint. So you've got on the right here under Animation, you've got the Animation class, and I'm gonna choose ABP Manny and you can see it puts it into an idle animation. I'm going to save and compile, go back to the level and what I'm going to do is to drag one of these in, put it about here I think and I'm going to play and just take a look. So that's it, it's not doing anything at the moment and we will be fixing that in subsequent videos.